All right, so we're going to check out Axiom Verge. This is a game I played a couple years ago when it was first on Steam. Um, played through it quite a bit. It's a Metroid clone, basically, to the T. So yeah, Axiom Verge. Those look like fucking Venus fly vaginas right there. So we're going to play just a little bit of it. Check it out so you guys can see what it's about. So yeah, I played this a lot on Steam when it first initially came out. Um, didn't complete it, but I, I am kind of a big fan of it. Uh, I, have, I also have it physically on the Switch, so this one was actually one of those games that was... Um, kind of it took a while to get on the Switch, to be honest. I don't know what was going on with the situation. Um, I think they were having trouble pouring it over. And I think Limited Run just released this on Wii U or is doing a pre-order for it physically. For a physical version on the Wii U. So that's interesting that uh, we're getting a Wii U version of this so late after uh, after the Wii U is basically kind of, kind of finished. Alright, so yeah, just like any other Metroid game, you can have certain certain weapons and stuff to unlock certain areas of the game. And yeah, this definitely is a Super Metroid um, look-alike, Dougie. Um, at the time, as a matter of fact, I think uh, there was... I remember my friend Ryan said a story that he was um, somewhere and the guy who made this game... Um, was showing the game on display and I think either Reggie or somebody from Nintendo kind of jokingly heckled them like oh kind of looks familiar uh, kind of looks like Metroid or something something like jokingly and uh, the guy that made this supposedly said well somebody's got to make it <laughs> you know so I don't know how true that is what's up backbone how's it going backbone five oh shit boss fight Pete, I will not be at the Retro Palooza Swap Meet. I was going to go to the Swap Meet, guys, but I have a family event to attend to. It's my niece's first birthday, and uh, they're going to do her party on that day of the Swap Meet. So I'm, I'm going to have to do that. Family does come first. So if you're watching this and you're wondering, I will not be at the Swap Meet. That guy's weapon kind of looks like a fish cock. The bottom part. Hashtag Alfred Fishcock. Fuck, really? I suck. Oh, nice Diet Coke. I know people say Diet Coke's bad for you, but so is rock and roll, right? We're gonna go back to that boss fight. There was also a pretty cool multiverse edition of, of this game that came out. Cake is better than swap meat all day, every day. You're not wrong. Love how you can play these SNES games on your phone. That's interesting. Collector's edition of this is really cheap in a few. Yeah, I thought about grabbing it. I saw it was actually on sale. Uh, cheap ass gamer showed uh, uh, that it was like uh, the the multiverse edition was like on sale. Did I not switch to it? There we go. Need to steer away from. Diet Coke and just go with beer. I can't drink beer too often. To be quite honest, uh, I only drink maybe, maybe once a month. When I lived in California, I was I was drinking every fucking like, every other day. But in all honesty, I'm only really truly able to drink uh, once in a while. Like I don't drink too often. It, I, honestly, the older I've gotten, 
the worse it gets. Like I, I've started blacking out, basically being on autopilot. Like I don't remember anything of when I was drunk at SoCal, um, SoCal Retro Gaming Expo weekend. Like we went to um, on Saturday night, we went to uh, a couple bars, and honestly, I don't remember anything past the first one. Uh, or what happened afterwards. Uh, I, I blank out, I go on like an autopilot. So I, that never really has ever happened. So yeah, and then also I'm out for the count like the next day. Hangovers ruined me bad. Here we go. I mean, I had fun. Just I, I don't drink too often. Listen to that music. I think he, I think the same guy that made this game also produced the music, if I'm not mistaken. Or there was only like literally like one or two people that made this game. So this is like an indie game that truly was a passion project and out of love. Like the person who made this definitely was alone, <laughs> you know. And it's deserved every amount of credit it's gotten throughout the years. All the accolades. Great fucking indie game. And at the time when this came out, there wasn't too many um, Metroid uh, Vanias or Metroid clones out there. So that's what really made this one stand out. Most of the last year, Puzzlehead, I was out in California. Here we go. So that was boss one, I believe. Look at this. Now I'm going to get like a glitch gun type of thing. Laser drill. So now I can, I can drill through this stuff. That music, though, man. This is honestly a fucking must have game. Not just on Switch, but if you have Steam, PS4, or, you know, Wii U. You know, this is definitely something I recommend that you pick up. And I'm not a big Metroid guy by any means at all. Wish you could play further the game to show how great the upgrades get. This is my favorite game for Solid Gear. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've played through this game quite a bit in the past on my channel. I don't remember if I did a review of it. I might have. I'm not sure. But it is overdue of me actually doing a proper video for it. So I might do one eventually. You know, or maybe on a different night I might sit here and play it completely through. A night where I don't have to go to work the next day. Use this weapon. I think the game's pretty cheap too. I think you get it for like less than, than 30 bucks. Maybe even like just 29. There's something over here. Or did I already get it? I think I already got what it was over here. Third game's the charm doing well. What did I do for work in Cali? My friend was, uh, he'd started a company that was developing a, a platform and a, uh, an iOS and Android app. 
So I was helping him for the past year. See, now the fun part of... The fun part of Metroidvanias, or Metroid games, or whatever you want to fucking refer to the genre as, is, uh... Finding out where the bloody hell you're supposed to go next. Sweet shirt, by the way. Thank you, Boost Bob. Um, I think Billy Mac, who's the guy who makes the Game Chasers t-shirts, only made like a limited supply of these shirts. I don't think he sold them. I think he just made them to give out as a prank at one Retro Palooza one year. So I grabbed one. Um, I honestly think they should try to sell these. And if they're not going to, I fucking will. There's nothing in that. What the hell? Where am I supposed to go? It's my fucking least favorite part of, of, of games like this is trying to figure out where in the bloody hell am I supposed to go? have a map yeah it does which I should probably look at it I think I might have to go up oh son of a bitch here we go I think that actually helped me I think I'm a lot closer to where I gotta be so let's Let's figure this out, guys. I think I recall seeing a a wall or something that I have to drill through. Who is over here? Yeah, here we go. See, that's the fun. The fun in these type of games is getting lost. Geek Gamer, how's it going, man? Switch it. This, this weapon is a lot faster. Oh, I, I can't go up there because I have to get this like thing that de glitches stuff. Like, there's a lot of stuff that's like glitched out, like that green part. So I gotta like de glitch. It's a great fucking game. If you have a console that has this game available, and you haven't played it? What are you doing with your life, bro? What what are you doing? I can easily tell you the sink my teeth meter for this game alone is a fucking 10.5, which is the highest rated sink my teeth menu of a game. Eric uses that drill move on Jay's mom. Have you seen Wrath Ian of Ruin? I have not. It was made with a Quake 1 engine. Huh. 
Wow. I'll have to check that out, my dude. I can't do anything in here. I don't have the grapple yet. Okay. I like these moments. There we go. Just the grapple. Health node, okay, it's the health node. I need that anyway. Is there a boss? I think there might be a boss fight. Save point. Very similar to Ion Mad Maiden. Ion Maiden. Hmm. Listen to this music. Oh sh! Is that a fucking broccoli plant attacking me? in this game, you run. Come on. Of course I can't get that health. There we go. I used to have a friend who had a dog that in games when you hear a beeping noise like that, that dog would just freak the fuck out. Boss fight? No. Linked it in your Discord channel. Thank you. Die, bitch. Honestly, I don't even know if I'm going the right way right now. Who's Eric? Who's the Eric that threw his lunch at me? What movie, guys? I quizzed my audience last night about that. I want to see if you guys were as movie savvy as me. That. I think I might have gotten myself stuck. Oh, duh, I can just crawl underneath that. Holy fuck balls. Nope, nope, nope. says smush. Chasey CC Seller Sweet says smush. Anyone know how many floors are in the adventure of Lolo? I have no idea. I really haven't had patience to play that game for more than 10 seconds at a time. Not 10 seconds, 10, mi 10 minutes at a time. Okay, I've already been literally
I know the movie, but I was in chat yesterday, so I'll let someone else get. Okay, let somebody else guess. So I've been through here. Where am I supposed to freaking go? Diara says no nuts, no nuts to smush. I get so lost in these games. So lost. I could play this game for hours, by the way, guys. It's like one of my favorite games. Can't do anything in there. The heck, man! in the bloody hell. Where am I supposed to freaking go? I think that's why I don't like Metroid. Because I hate being fucking lost. What's the name of this game? Just started watching the stream. It is Axiom Verge, and guess what, my good friend? You can even get it, not just on digital on the Switch, but you can get it physically. Axiom Verge. And if you have a PS4, it's on there. If you have an Xbox, I think it's on there. If you have a Wii U, it's on there. If you play Steam, it's on there. So this game is basically on everything. Um, very good. Muy delicioso. I highly recommend it. If you don't own it, then I recommend that you grab it physically. It's pretty cheap to get a physical copy. I think you get one for like 20, 20 bucks, 25, maybe even 30. Somewhere like that. It's a cheap, cheap game. Um, I think it goes on sale quite a bit. I think GameStop might actually have it for pretty cheap. I think this is where the beginning of the game happens. I'm totally fucking lost. Yeah, that's the beginning of the game right here. Do I like Dragon Age? I've not played Dragon Age. Or you know what, we'll move forward. Let's go ahead and check out another game. But this was just to give you a good taste of what Axiom Verge is like. Uh, 